Hi, this um, is a rather avant-garde, weird piece, uh, an exercise in the absurd, and it's called Bazaar, or uh, Conversations with My Cat. <laughs> Here it goes. I was abused by Xusha Cat to the extent that I called the law in order to file a domestic violence complaint. As Xusha Cat says, that is my word against hers, and if all else fails, she will throw herself on the mercy of the court. Xusha is currently undergoing anger management and psychotherapy. I lost my patience with Xusha Cat and threatened to sell her to the Koreans so that she could headline on tomorrow's menu as Susha Bimbap, served with short-grained rice and pickled radish, spicy go gochujang and a clear scallion broth, all arranged in a large silver bowl topped with fried egg, as Susha cannot comprehend the significance of this turn of events. I told Susha Cat that I intend to take a particularly obnoxiously loud, fiscally conservative, infomercially battery-powered electric razor used by Dick Cheney in a hunting mishap in order to shear her clean so that I will rename her Baldy Locks as she becomes an Egyptian cat complete with matching passport as listed on Interpol's top ten most wanted. Susha demands her vittles as oblivious to recession and calls for self-sacrifice and belt tightening. I say to Susha girl, you're so bulbous. You're very, very bulbous. She replies, so are you. <laughs> it is at this point that I realize that I am one egg roll short of a combination plate. I'm on the road to Palookaville and have finally arrived at the hall of the Mountain King with Ronald Coleman to see the High Lama in order to learn the secret of how to live forever. The roof is sliding. <laughs> Thanks for watching.